Hello my beautiful friends and welcome back to my channel. We are in my kitchen today because I'm going to be doing a fridge tour today. I feel like it's a very intimate video because most of my friends haven't even seen it inside of my fridge. So let's get started. Now before I begin, I want to talk about the size of this fridge because I feel like if you're watching this video from America, you would think this fridge is kind of small or maybe average size. But if you're from Europe or if you're from the UK, you will think this fridge is kind of big. So it's quite interesting because I lived in Canada before and this would be considered a smaller fridge, definitely. But now I have lived in the UK for nine years and we've moved into so many different places in the last nine years. I would say this is the largest fridge we've had in the last nine years. So I'm very grateful for it. As you can see here, before I begin, I want to show you some of the art that Alexa has done on the fridge. Really beautiful, how she put love here. All right, where shall I start? I just want to mention before I begin that I haven't done anything special to the fridge to make it look more perfect in any way. I try to keep it organized, but sometimes it's a little more messy. Sometimes it's a bit more organized. Today, it's not as full as it usually is because I actually go shopping by myself. Like I handpick all the fresh produce, I would say every other day. And Alex always makes fun of me because he says I'm not in with the times, I should be ordering food online, but I feel like I need to touch and smell the fruit and the veg. I need to pick them myself. So we we'll always have this debate where he says I waste too much time shopping for food, but I enjoy it, but it does take a lot of time. Now, let's start maybe with the door cabinets and I'll walk you through what I have here. I can see right away what sticks out to me is one of my favorite drinks. I don't really drink many fizzy drinks except for obviously sparkling water. I like sparkling water and kombucha. And this is a naturally fermented drink. If you've never tried kombucha, although I feel like everyone by now has tried kombucha. I actually used to drink kombucha even as a child because my mom is quite a hippie and she used to make her own kombucha in a jar with that, I think it's called scoby, like the mother mushroom at the bottom, which looks kind of freaky. <laughs> but anyways, this is my favorite brand. I like jar kombucha. And also, if you live in, the, in London, you'll be familiar with Dalesford. I really like Dalesford um, kombucha as well. Also here in the cabinet, there is a new milk that I have discovered that I've been loving. This is by the brand Nutty Bruce and it is a mix of oat and almond milk. Why I prefer this to let's say the Oatly oat milk is because the almonds in the milk stabilize the sugars that are released from the oats. I knew this was gonna happen <laughs> sooner or later. And there's no nasties in here, it's literally just water oats, almonds, and sea salt, nothing else. So always read the ingredients of the milk that you buy because this is something we drink almost every day. I'll show you the soy sauce that we use. Unfortunately, I cannot pronounce the brand because it's all in Japanese, but I buy this in Natura. If you live in London, you can get it there. It's really amazing. I think it's the best soy sauce that's out there, period. All right, I can see an elderberry juice here and this is something Alex loves to buy from a health food store because elderberry juice is really good for your immune system. So anytime he feels under the weather or I feel under the weather, he reminds me to drink it. But the thing with this juice is once you open it, you have to drink it right away. This one hasn't been opened, so it's still good to be here. And then let's see, we have some maple syrup. Every Canadian has to have one in your fridge. And then I can see some vodka here. <laughs> I'll tell you a story. As you can see, it's not open. You guys know I don't drink alcohol. Alex drinks wine, but this ended up here because Alex had fever in the summer and his mom was here in London visiting and she called me and she said, get some vodka because it's a kind of a natural remedy back in the USSR uh, countries, like where I'm from Azerbaijan or Russia, that if you have high fever, you rub alcohol on your body. Don't ask me, but anyways, we didn't end up doing it because his fever went down, but we still have the vodka here. Another thing that's interesting here that is also not mine, it, it is Alex's. It's from some Chinese brand called Nin Jiong Pig. I cannot even pronounce this, but this is some kind of an extract that's really good for your throat. Apparently it's more natural, so anytime he has a sore throat, he likes to take a spoonful of this. And then, 
Again, some other funny things that I see here, for example, this one is, um, I don't even know what it's called in English. Uh, well, this one is valerian root, and this one, I don't remember, but I feel like anybody who grew up in USSR will have this in their fridge. It's, in Russian, it's called valerianka, and for some reason, it is something that is a staple. Anytime you feel a bit anxious or overwhelmed, you would take a few drops of the valerian root. I don't know, maybe it was just my family, but I feel like everybody from Russia or USSR would relate to this. So we have this, but I feel like we've never even used this and it's probably expired. I'm gonna put it back there, but I need to clear up my fridge. And then I see some sardines. I'm not sure why they're here because they're not supposed to be in the fridge but I think Alex put them there. And some gems, these are not mine. I'm not even sure what they are. This is a marmalade, this is a queen's gem. Alex bought them. I don't eat the stuff. Obviously when you're sharing a fridge, you know, there will be things here that are mine and there will be things here that are bought by Alex and are only used by Alex. Now I'm gonna show you some butters that I have here. We always have a butter debate. I think this one is the best. I think I need to get some more, as you can see, this one is running out. And Alex thinks this one is the best. This one is French, and I think this one is also French. All right, maybe I'll mention a couple more things that are in the door, and then we will move on to the rest of the fridge. So we usually keep the cheeses here. I personally don't really eat dairy, but I buy cheese for Alex and Alexa. Alex and Alexa. And um, actually, I do eat Parmesan sometimes. So we have Parmesan that I buy from Cheesemonger. It's just wrapped in paper, which is really amazing. As you will see, most of the fridge is plastic free. You guys know how important it is to me. I do my best to be plastic free, to buy everything that is. However, sometimes there are exceptions. You probably can see the yogurt. I'll talk about it later or there's this cheese that obviously comes in plastic that Alexa loves, so I buy it for her. And this one is called Ska, Scamorza. Scamorza. It tastes like smoked mozzarella, but it's not smoked mozzarella. It's delicious. And yeah, so Alexa loves this one. What else can I show you here? There's some alcohol. I don't know if I should show you this stuff. I don't even know what all of this is. This is a Chardonnay from <laughs> South Africa. As you guys know, Alex loves South Africa, so it's here. I see some kind of Japanese alcohol. What is this? Senju? I don't know. Is it? What is it? I don't know what this is, guys. I'm sorry. Is it? I don't even know what kind of alcohol is. There is the sake. Maybe this is a sake. <laughs> I literally, I, I wouldn't know because I maybe drink a sip of champagne here and there, but that's as far as my alcohol intake goes. But I do love the sparkling water. It's the sparkling water of the dreams. It's the most delicious one. So Vichy Catalan actually is a really healthy water that comes from under the ground in Spain. I believe it's naturally sparkling. And yeah, we really love the taste of it. It tastes very different. You can actually taste the minerals. So I usually don't like my water cold, by the way. Alex put this in the fridge. I only drink water room temperature. So just a side note. And then there's some more alcohol here. Again, maybe this looks like a champagne and a few other wines, but I'm gonna move on to the rest of the fridge now. I have this uh, unfinished pasta here that I was making a few days ago. This needs to be used very soon. This is fresh pasta that I buy from Natura. This yogurt right here, and guys, I don't even, like I said, I don't really eat dairy, but once in a while I'll try it as I'm putting it in a bowl for Alexa with a little bit of berries or jam, and this is the most incredible Greek yogurt that's out there by far. And I get this at Natura. We have some gems here. I love gems and I always make sure that I get gems that don't have any kind of nasties added to them. Usually when you're buying gems, it should only be fruit first, sugar second, and maybe it will have an ingredient like lemon juice or concentrate. So these ones are super clean. Then we have Pickles! A again, anybody from USSR would relate to this. You have to have pickles in your fridge. Funny enough, it's not me who is obsessed with pickles, it's Alexa. She loves everything salty. I like salty things as well, but it's fascinating that she at her age loves it. So these pickles are salty, they're not sweet. I find that in North America I had the hardest time, like when I lived in Canada, I had the hardest time finding pickles 
that were salty and not sweet because they add sugar to all pickles and here I had the same experience until I found this brand this brand and this specific type of pickles are my childhood pickles so they're amazing and funny enough Alexa likes them the other day she tried pickles somewhere else that were a little bit sweeter and she didn't want to eat it so fascinating and then we have Papers again something that I like and Alexa loves as well. I add this to salads I add this to fish so many different recipes that you can use capers for Then we have a miso here which Alex bought and as you can see it hasn't been used yet He keeps buying miso paste. It keeps getting expired and it just sits there in the fridge Alex if you're watching this make some miso soup, please all right, so I found a sour cream that I used recently when I was making smoked salmon with potato latkes. It seems to be our favorite recipe that we do weekly now at home. And again, sour cream goes so nicely with it. And this is my favorite brand that I buy from Dale's Ford. Now, moving on to the rest of the fridge, you can see some more alcohol, a special spot for the bottles. I can show you maybe a couple of wines that Alex likes to drink. This is his favorite. Sincere, I think it's called and yeah, this is also from France actually and then Moving on to the rest of the things that I like to eat I can see a little box of chocolates here that I bought recently from William Curley I think William Curley is the best chocolate maker in the UK and yeah, the chocolates are amazing I'll have some with tea after not now Mimi you're working I often go out of my way to different stores to make sure that I buy things that are not packaged in plastic. For example, I go to Dale's for because they have cherry tomatoes that are not in a plastic packaging. I used to buy things from, let's say, Waitrose, but everything there is packaged in plastic. So just wanted to mention that because I put a great effort into doing my best to keep everything plastic free and um, yeah we have some grapes here also got this from Dalesford these boxes actually came with a delivery we had from Newt which is one of our favorite farms here in the UK and I kept the boxes because I like how they keep things organized it's only been a few weeks so I probably need a better solution to organize my fridge but I keep some tangerines here, some ginger because we'll love making ginger lemon tea. I have lots of lemons here and a couple of limes because I love making, like I said, ginger lemon tea and I add lemon to the dressing in our salads that I make every day. So lemons are really important for us. Next, moving on to the next section of the fridge. I have uh, some baby jam, or I don't know if this one is called baby jam. It's some type of the lettuce that I use in a salad. I oftentimes store the lettuces in a mug or a vase because, and then I obviously have some water inside because it keep it nice and fresh. And I do the same for my herbs. I am the, I don't wanna say crazy herb lady, but <laughs> I'm the person who always goes to the, all these grocery stores and buys all the herbs that they have and here I have some parsley, some cilantro, I have some coriander, uh, actually cilantro and coriander is the same thing, parsley, coriander, dill and chives and this is a staple in our household, I love adding herbs to our salads and also I make the herb omelet, if you haven't seen it I'm gonna link it here and you must watch that video. Now, when I have some leftovers, this is how I store them, either in a little container, these are so cute. This one is from the brand called A Slice of Green, and I have them in different sizes. I don't know, what do I have here? Some leftover grapes that Alexa had. So, that's that. And also, I like to store my leftovers in a bowl and a plate on top. Years ago, I banned saran wrap in our household, so this is how my mom used to do it years ago and no plastic needed, right? So let's move on to something else that I see here. I bought this for Alex because he loves gazpacho soup. So this is for you, Alex. It's hidden in the back. So I'll move on to the drawers now. I usually have fruit in one, vegetables in the other, and the bottom is usually for more veggies and mushrooms. I don't know why I do it in this order, but it has worked in the past. Let me show you what I have in the fruit drawer. I have some khaki fruit. These are also called persimmons. 
but these are the crunchy ones, not the soft ones. We have some apples here. We have some plums that I actually bought because I'm going to be roasting this and I want to make a sorbet because it's Alexa's favorite, a plum sorbet. I have some, what is this called? The passion fruit, yeah. So we have some passion fruit that looks like it's maybe gone bad. So this one needs to be eaten as soon as possible or thrown away. And then moving on lower, we always have lots of peppers in our house because Alexa's favorite vegetable was pepper, now it's broccoli. But actually this morning she told me it's not broccoli anymore, it's leeks. So I need to get some leeks. It always changes. So we have lots and lots of, lots of broccoli. We have fennel, which I love adding to salads. As I said, we have lots of peppers in all colors, always. I panic when I run out of peppers. Then some cucumbers. Again, I have to go out of my way to find cucumbers that are naked and not wrapped in plastic. These are from Dale's Ford. So his pea cabbage that has seen better days. This needs to be cooked as soon as possible. And moving on to the very bottom. Let's see what we have here. Yes, more peppers. And some shiitake mushrooms. I love shiitake mushrooms. I add them to my stir fries or with rice noodles and vegetables and yeah, I'm, I always make sure I have some mushrooms in the house and it's usually at the bottom. All right, so we're done with this part of the fridge. Now let's move on to the freezer and you will be surprised. I don't really have much in there. Let's see what I have. Okay, all right, some old bananas. I really don't know how old these are and I'm not really sure if bananas go bad in the freezer. So yeah, let me know in the comments below if you think these have gone bad and then I'll have to throw them out. Otherwise, I keep it for one day making um, like a, an ice cream, which is not a real ice cream. So we, that's why I froze it before. I don't know why we have a frozen tequila in the freezer. Honestly, it's been there forever. As you guys know, it's not me, but Oftentimes when we travel, we have people staying in our flat. So I think maybe somebody bought this and it's just been sitting there for a while because Alex doesn't really drink tequila. All right, so we have some peas, some frozen peas, and it's very difficult to find frozen food that is not in plastic. For that reason, I avoid to buy frozen fruit or vegetables, but I found this brand and I want to try it. Then we have some sorbet. This is my favorite. It's made out of black currant, only three ingredients. Very simple, very delicious. I buy these at Whole Foods. And also Alexa's favorite fruit uh, ice lollies that literally only have fruit, nothing else added. So really nice brand. And then what we have here, not food related. These are basically um, for bruising if you ever bump yourself and you know, you need to put something on, like an ice pack, I guess. That's what they're called, ice pack. So we have a couple of ice packs. And last but not least, I have some frozen berries in here that my lovely mother-in-law bought for me when she was in London. And I think these are from Russian store. I don't know if these are expired because I feel like I've had these for a while. This one is called Klukva. I don't even know what it's called in English. If you know, let me know in the comments. But the reason people from former USSR would have these in the freezer is because anytime you have a cold, instead of having medicine, the first thing we would do is make tea with some frozen berries and some honey. And the reason I personally don't buy them is because they're all in plastic usually. So I kind of stop buying them. But yeah, I still have some from way before. I should probably use them if they're not expired. But that is it. There's really not much else in the freezer because we don't really eat frozen food. I make fresh food every day. So yeah, that's all. It's all finished. Thank you so much for being here with me. I would love to hear what you thought of the fridge and if there's anything in the fridge that you have as well in your fridge. I'm really curious because I would love to know what's in your fridge. So maybe tell me what are some five items that I have that you also have in your fridge. 
Thank you again for watching this video. If you have enjoyed this video, please make sure to subscribe and hit that bell notification so that you're notified every time I post a video. I love you guys and I will see you in the next video. Bye! Yeah, the vodka because it's so true, it's my, it's my dad said. So. I'm gonna close it open. This one is from the... <laughs> Crispy cabbage.